Hello and welcome to another fantastic commander video. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, this is going to be Zedru the Great Hearted. I figured this would be a good time uh, seeing how um, this uh, commander is going to be reprinted in the upcoming Commander 2016. Uh, this, this is a reprint from an earlier commander set and um, basically uh, this particular deck is going to be a uh, pillow fort deck. Uh, I'm going to try to wall myself up while I get my win condition ready and uh, donate my permanence to the other players. Uh, I'm going to try to play a lot of uh, cards that don't really get played, uh, cards that uh, have negative. Uh, effects on them to their controller and yeah let's let's get started uh, this is a red white and blue um, commander deck so let's get right into it we have our starting off with our lands we have command tower uh, grand coliseum reflecting pool exotic orchard mystic monastery those are ones that can get us any color. Then we move into our Scrylands, Temple of Enlightenment, Temple of Epiphany. Going into our Fast Lands from Kaladesh, Spire Bluff Canal, Inspiring Vantage. We have a Port Town in here, Temple of a False God, an EDH staple. Then we, <clears throat> we move into our Basics. I got a bunch of planes. Again, as I said on my other videos, just uh, just play how many ever lands you feel comfortable with. This is only a suggestion. Some mountains. And a bunch of islands. I typically play uh, 35 lands or thereabouts in my EDH decks. It's usually too few for most pe most people. But I generally play a lot of draw or a lot of uh, land fetch in support. Moving on, we've got uh, Hannah Ship's Navigator moving into the creatures. This is an artifact and enchantment heavy deck, especially enchantments. And Hannah is also getting a reprint, so why not include her? Let her get my enchantments back from the grave. Then we have Lab Maniac. Lots of drawing in this deck, so... Uh, drawing on an empty library is definitely a possibility. Daring Thief helps me swap permanents. Bizarre Trader lets me give up some uh, permanents to other players to get Zedra's ability going. Uh, Steel Golem is a uh, good creature to give to my opponents as it prevents playing a future creature spells. Uh, then we have Auromancer and Monk Idealist to try to get those enchantments back out of the grave. Uh, Solemn Simulacrum, just because it's Solemn Simulacrum. Uh, Niv Mizzet the Firemind, uh, again a lot of drawing in this uh, in this deck. So we have Niv, Niv Mizzet as well as the Psychosis Crawler, which is the next uh, card to help give us damage when we. Uh, draw the, all those cards. Uh, Trinket Mage, uh, just because of the artifacts that I play, good good for getting that soul ring out. Uh, Jace's Archivist, uh, good for more draw in support of Niv Mizzet, Fire Mind, or Psychosis Crawler. Uh, Containment Priest, because lots of things are grave based in EDH and we don't want them doing their thing. Then we have some walls, yes. Walls, believe it or not, a fog bank, a wall of denial, and a wall of omens. Then we have Windborn Muse again for protection. This is a a, a deck where I'm going to want to wall myself up with as much protection as possible, so I can uh, get Zedru to do his thing, whether it's uh, drawing cards for damage or drawing myself out or one of the other uh, win conditions. This deck has a lot of win conditions. 
So just because uh, one thing fails doesn't mean that something else won't succeed. Uh, we have the Silent Arbiter, uh, prevents uh, getting swarmed. Peacekeeper prevents attacks altogether. Archangel of Ties, excellent for um, protection. Uh, moving on, uh, we have Replenish. Get those enchantments back out of the grave and open the vaults. Same thing. Terminus, uh, we don't play a lot of creatures. Uh, but the ones we do, it's it's okay to get get them tucked like this. But this mainly prevents uh, swarming uh, from other people. Donate, just because it goes in with the theme of the deck. Incendiary Command, because drawing and damage to creatures. It's a good good control card and, and good draw. Uh, Tarashi's Grasp for enemy artifacts and enchantments. Then we have some counters. We have Absorb, Render Silent, and... Is that it? There's supposed to be... I'm going to run into a counter spell later that does is not in the spot where it belongs. So there is a counter spell. Regular two blue mana classic counter spell somewhere in this deck and we're going to run into it. Uh, Cyclonic Rift because everybody hates Cyclonic Rift. Oblation. Uh, there's a few good targets for this and it, it it's good draw. And there it is. There's the counter spell. I put it in with the wrong, put it in the wrong spot. All right, moving on to our instance. We have brainstorm, blue staple, factor fiction, blue staple, enlightened tutor, because of all the artifacts and enchantments we play. Moving on to an artifacts, we have our soul ring, mox diamond, uh, dark steel ingot, chrome mox. Mana Crypt, just because those are pretty much uh, staples wherever. Norn's Annex for more protection. Topor Orb, as it will affect them more than us. We play one of these to, um, again, with the Grave decks, with the Enter the Battlefield abilities, just not a good thing. And those are very uh, common decks in, in, in my playgroup. Etherflux Reservoir, there's a lot of life gain in this deck, and it itself is life gain. Pay 50 life, deal 50 damage. Can't beat that. 50 life is not hard to do in EDH. Uh, Rhystic Study and Mystic Remora, because more card draw. They have Karmic Justice, because of all the things that I play, uh, this is really good protection. Nobody wants to be the one to... Uh, destroy one of your enchantments only you get their big thing destroyed as well. Detention Sphere and Oblivion Ring. Uh, these are good things to donate away, let other people have them. Because after you exile, it doesn't matter who actually controls the actual permanent. Uh, Test of Endurance, more li a life gain win. Enchanted Evening. Um, this will work with Sphere of Safety, which you'll see in a little bit. Uh, really good protection. It's basically here for Sphere of, safe, sphere of Safety. So um, if you want to put something else that takes advantage of this or just not even put it in, uh, that's fine. But it is a good donate target as well. Uh, it doesn't matter who controls it. Just make sure you give it to somebody who uh, can't sack it to something. Uh, Authority of Consoles. Uh, good to slow our opponents down and gain some life. Uh, greater Aramency because of the volume of enchantments that are played. More Grave Hate, rest in peace. Wild Research, uh, good fetch. Puka's Mischief, no, not Puka Trade, it's Puka's Mischief. Unless they're into some mischief that I'm not aware of. Uh, good for exchanging control of permanence. Solitary Confinement, um, the skipping the draw step doesn't really hurt as long as we have Zedro out. And uh, it's really uh, great protection. There is Sphere of Safety, as I had mentioned earlier. As well as Propaganda and Ghostly Prison. More protection. Delusions of Mediocrity, 
a fantastic donate target. Drop it in a play, gain 10 life, give it to somebody else. Um, if you have that oblation or something else, or if it gets destroyed, they lose the life, not you. So, fantastic ad for this deck. Statecraft. Uh, when I, when someone initially suggested this card to me, um, I thought they meant for me to uh, use it to protect Zedru and walls and that sort of thing but i actually find that it's much better this is probably how it's intended to be used um to donate to that person with the big swarm uh so so their creatures can't deal anybody any damage uh aggressive mining uh drop this on two turn two or three donate it to somebody and it pretty much locks them out of the game uh, this is a, probably a table flipper, so be careful with that. You will, uh, invariably get some nerd rage. Uh, Thought Lash. Uh, this card is insidious. This is, uh, it has cumulative upkeep. Remove the top card of your library from the game. But if you don't pay it, it exiles your entire library. And this only benefit is you exile a top card of your library from the game to prevent one whole damage. Um, if there was a bigger piece of crap in this game, I'm not aware of it. So there it is. Uh, give this to them and they have to pay it or it comes and bites them hard. Uh, Illusions of Grandeur. Uh, same thing as uh, Delusions of Mediocrity. But it's 20 life and it has a cumulative upkeep. So let them not pay it. That's fine by us. We'll gain the life. They can lose it. And last but certainly not least, we have Embargo. Um, keep their creatures tapped down. And uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose two life. But that's why we give it to them. So they can lose the life for us. And that, my friends, is my Zedru the Great Hearted deck. Um... It's a very unique deck, and if you enjoyed my video, please like, subscribe. Uh, this is a newer deck. I'm definitely looking for suggestions. Um, I, I've been playing for like 20 years, but that, that doesn't mean that I've been playing continuously that whole time. There's uh, tons of cards that I'm not aware of, so if you have suggestions, please leave them in the comments below, and have a great day.